What's going on, family? It's your brother, Robert. So Elijah is one of those great Old Testament prophets, those ones that did some amazing work for the Lord. He caused it to stop raining for three and a half years. He caused fire to fall down from heaven. Not only did he do those things, he was taken up to heaven in, in a whirlwind with chariots of fire. And so we may look at his life and some of the things that God did in his life and may think that he's some super saint or some great some great person, but the Bible records that he is a man with a nature just like ours. And I think that we will see that as we look at the beginning of 1 Kings chapter 19, that Elijah was a man just like us. It says, beginning in verse 1, Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done and how he had killed all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah, saying, so may the gods do to me, and more also, if I do not make your life as the life of one of them by this time tomorrow. Then he was afraid, and he arose, and he ran for his life. We're going to stop there for now. So, Elijah got word from the queen, queen named Jezebel that she was going to kill him. And this prophet who had done amazing things in the name of the Lord was scared. And as a result of his fear, he ran. Elijah had irrational fears. If I give you a little bit of context or backstory to what had happened just previously to this, he had been in a, a, a dispute with the prophets of Baal, 450 prophets to be exact, and they were in a contest to see whose God could send down fire to consume a sacrifice. And the prophets of Baal were doing all these things to summon their false God, and, and nothing happened. But then Elijah took his sacrifice. He put 12 stones on it. He filled it up with water. And he spoke to God in a prayer and fire came down and consumed it all. Then he killed all 450 of those false prophets. Just previously to him running, this had happened. And at the word of a queen, he ran away scared and fearful. Don't. You feel like that is kind of a, an irrational response. You can speak fire down from heaven. Why would you be scared of this queen, this woman, when you have the almighty God on your side? Elijah had irrational fears. But don't look at him like he's somebody special or unique. Don't you think that could happen to you too? Do you worry about how you'll be provided for? Do you worry about retirement? Do you worry about the, the health and safety of your kids? Do you do things? Do you take actions that are fearful in nature and don't reflect the faith that you profess? If so, you may be in the same boat as Elijah, allowing irrational fears to rule your life. I want to encourage you today that you don't have to be in that boat. You can look at this story of Elijah and realize that God was with him no matter what. And guess what? God is with you too, no matter what. He says in his word that I am with you always, even to the end of the age. So I want to encourage you today to not let fear rule you. Don't let irrational fears of what might happen, what could happen, what may even happen, Impact your judgment, but take those fears to the Lord. Put your faith into action and lean on the Lord. Friends, the prophets were just like us. They had fears, worries, and concerns. But we can learn from their example about how to and how not to have irrational fears. With that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this example of Elijah who had some fears about what was going to happen to him, and so he ran away. Help us not to be controlled by our fears, but to take those fears and bring them to you and ask for you to give us wisdom and direction. Lord, we love you above all, any, all things. We give your name praise, honor, glory, and worship. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
So thank you for studying with me. Come back for more daily devotions. God bless you.